the most common questions we get asked is how we sleep in our car at trailheads. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> a lot of you have asked us, isn't that super uncomfortable? But actually, it's pretty darn comfortable. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> we have comfortable bedding, a nice mattress on a platform, pillows. It's just a really good place to sleep. And we built this bed in less than an hour with absolutely no tools and for less than a hundred bucks. And you might be thinking, this sounds pretty unrealistic, especially if you've been looking all over the internet like we did to try to figure out how to build this bed. When I was looking, I saw literally everything was telling us how to do it with hinges and cubby storage and different pieces of the platform and I was super overwhelmed. And then Adam was just like, why don't I just try this? I think I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> and my whole goal was to do it cheaply and make it as simple as possible. So this is all you need. Piece of cut plywood, whatever sort of mattress you like, two things, they can be bricks, they can be ammunition canisters, they can be really anything that provides a solid base of support to put the platform on top of, a little bit of foam to protect your seats, and a tape measure to measure how big your piece of plywood needs to be. That's it. So the biggest problem people have when they want to sleep in the back of their SUV is that the seats do not fold down flat. We have exactly the same problem. There's a huge lump here, and then they kind of slope upward. So if you just throw your foam mattress in the back on top of that, you're going to be sleeping on a gigantic lump, and your head's going to be way too high compared to your feet. So the first thing we realized we needed was some kind of a platform that evens that out. So I just took a tape measure and I measured the distance from where the door could comfortably close to as far up as we could go where the front seats are. And of course, the distance across here to see how big I needed to cut the piece of plywood that we were gonna sleep on. Next, I took those measurements to Home Depot went up to the guys that work in the lumber part and said, I want a 5 8 piece of plywood and I want it cut to this exact size. They just went, sure thing, whoop, whoop. It was cut, done, I was out of there in about eight minutes with a nice 5 8 inch piece of plywood, plenty heavy and thick enough for us both to sleep on without it bending or wobbling. The next thing I needed to do was just figure out how much is the drop between where those seats go down to and the back of this because I wanted it to lay flat. Turns out those seats are about exactly seven inches higher than the back of this. So all I needed was something seven inches high that I could put the plywood on in the back. I ordered these surplus military ammunition canisters because they also serve as great storage. You can open them up and put whatever you want inside. One here. One here, they're exactly seven inches. Next, you just need something to prevent the plywood from scratching up the back of your seats and from sliding around too much. So I just took these little foam mats, just these cute kind of kids toy things, they're super, super cheap, and put them right like this. So the plywood lays right down on that, never touches the seat, perfect protection, and these are kind of grippy so it stops it from sliding anywhere. Super easy next step, you just slide the plywood straight on into your car. Super easy to take it in and out whenever we want to use all four seats in the car. We just slip out the plywood, put it in our closet, slip it on back when we're ready to sleep at the trailhead. So we just had an old memory foam mattress lying around and so that's what we're using. Uh, you could get one that's even more perfect. We could have gotten one that was about four inches wider if we'd wanted to pay for it, but we're too cheap. <laughs> Frugal life. <laughs> Frugal life. So one of the best things about this platform is that there's tons of storage underneath. So perfect for fitting our backpacks. Just slide them right in there very easily. Also boots, food, whatever else you need. You don't need drawers, you don't need fancy hinges or any of that stuff. What you need is a flat platform and some space underneath. This gives you everything you need. Now, of course, whatever bedding you want to use is up to you. A lot of people just go with a sleeping bag, but we like to have a little bit of luxury since we're in the car. So we took an old down comforter 
some really, really comfortable pillows. And it is quite a luxurious situation that we've got going on here. <laughs> Yeah, it's really, really comfortable. It feels like you're sleeping in a real bed. So here's a bonus for those of you who really want to be comfortable, especially on hot summer nights, is bug screens for the windows, homemade bug screens. All you need is some super cheap mosquito netting. You can get like, I mean, 20 by 20 sheet of it for probably eight bucks. And a bunch of little disc magnets. Again, you can get a dozen of these I got two dozen for, I think, $6.99. Very, very cheap. And you simply cut the screen to the size of the window, the outside. Then you just take the mosquito netting and you hook it with your magnets. Just cover the window opening on the outside. Now you can lower your window. No mosquitoes, no bugs. So, here we go. Cute girl not included, <laughs> but highly likely if you make something this comfortable. <laughs>